What's up everyone, my name is Andres and welcome to another video and today we're going to be talking about the top 10 YouTube videos that changed my life. YouTube is such a great platform to learn and to grow and let's be honest, the education system is outdated and very flawed. A simple 10 minute video could be more beneficial to you than a whole high school or college class. And the videos that I'm going to share with you guys today are the ones that I feel like have had the greatest impact on my outlook in life and my goals. My goal is to be a physician, however, I don't want to just be a doctor. I also want to be an entrepreneur who could like help out exponential amounts of people, especially those who are in pre-med and who are pursuing the healthcare field. And I would like to do this by providing up-to-date information on classes and just overall like success. Overall a success. I can't talk today. Overall, just success methods. So without further ado, let's get into the videos. All right, the first one is The Formula for Peak Performance by Steven Kotler. This video excited me tremendously. It is basically about reaching the state called the flow. Now, if you've seen some of my past videos, I've probably talked about flow. But if you guys don't know what it is, flow is like the highest concentration and focus that you could be in. It's like the movie Limitless where he like takes the pill and he's like on X Games mode for like the entire day. That's basically what attaining flow is. But without the pills and Robert De Niro. And when this flow technique is practiced and mastered, it just becomes a switch where you just go into hyperdrive focus. TBH, it's a freaking superpower. Like if you guys are interested in this kind of stuff, definitely check out this video. And the reason that this video really resonated with me is because I really look up to superheroes. And anything that could really like come close to that, I am extremely interested in. If you guys have any similar interests, please check out this video. You guys will not regret it. All right, the second video that piqued my interest is how to unlock the full potential of your mind by Dr. Spencer on impact theory. This video really inspired me to uncover the human mind and what it's capable of. If you're interested in healthcare and self-recovery, check this one out for sure. Dr. Dispenza was ran over by a truck and the doctors told him that he would never be able to walk again. But by learning how to master his mind and learning how to heal himself, like he learned how to walk again without having any surgeries. This one was like hard to believe but I found it especially like interesting because it's like medically related and that this guy learned how to walk again. This dude really did put of Doctor Strange. All right, the third video that I found that was extremely beneficial to me was Win the War in Your Head and Find Peace by David Goggins. All right, so David Goggins is like a total badass. If you guys know who he is, well, you know. He was a Navy SEAL who did Hell Week three different times because he failed the first two and he went through an entire Hell Week with having a broken shin. He gives pain like a whole new threshold. He has this rule called the 40% rule, which is basically when your mind tells you that you're done, you've actually only reached 40% of your pain capacity, which is like another like testament to human will and performance. This guy will make you feel like a piece of but honestly, it's totally worth it. Definitely check out his book, Can't Hurt Me. It, it was a life changer. Okay, so the fourth video is how to achieve your most ambitious goals with Steven Dunier. So this is part of a TED talk, but it was honestly like one of the most inspirational TED talks that I've ever seen. This video is generally about just putting your mind in a bare minimum mode. More specifically, bare minimum when you're pursuing like goals in your day or just overall like career goals. An example of this would be like, all right, if you didn't want to go to the gym, you'd be like, all right, well, I'm not going to go to the gym, but I'm just gonna put on my gym clothes. And then like, you know what? Like I already put my gym clothes on, so I guess I'll just listen to some music. Well, now that I got the music in, well, I guess I'll just walk outside. Well, my car is like right outside, so I'm gonna go drive to the gym. And then, now I'm just gonna work out. It may seem like very simple, but it's like, it's basically telling your mind that like the next action that you're gonna do is gonna be something very insignificant. And one thing leads to another, and eventually you've already finished your workout. It's honestly like a cheat code to getting like anything you ever wanted to get done, done. Without feeling like overwhelmed or unmotivated. All right, the fifth video on the list is Entrepreneurs in Medicine and Building an Empire. This video is by Dr. Jude, and it actually probably inspired me the most out of like all the videos thus far. This is because like I'm fascinated with both entrepreneurship and medicine. I've never seen a medical doctor pursue both entrepreneurship and medicine at the same time. So when I came across this video, it really did change a whole lot for me. In this video, Dr. Jude interviews one of his friends who started a business, and both of them go over the opportunities that are inside medicine that a lot of people still haven't uncovered yet. Along with just other tips and goals that you could pursue when you're pursuing medicine. Whether you're interested in entrepreneurship or medicine, this video is a must watch. And I personally think it's crazy that there aren't more entrepreneurs inside medicine. Because like most fields have entrepreneurs that are like big name entrepreneurs. Like 
Engineers have Elon Musk. Music producers have Dr. Dre. But there aren't very many doctors who are raising the bar and expanding the horizons of medicine in a way that is relative to entrepreneurship. And it was actually this video that made me want to start making YouTube videos in the first place. All right, the sixth video that I found to be extremely interesting is financial freedom through real estate investing with the Passive Income MD. I am obsessed with passive income. I've never wanted to pursue medicine because of the money. So I want to find as many passive income sources that I can that are outside of medicine so that I will prioritize my goal as a doctor before any monetary reward. So to see a doctor who is investing in real estate and like, I mean, heavily investing, like 80% of his income is coming from real estate and he still just works in the hospital just for gratification. I feel like that's true freedom. And as a doctor, you're gonna make a pretty nice check, but it's what you do with that money that's more important. And by investing, you'll be able to provide more income and thus help more people. All right, along the lines of money, the seventh video that I found to be extremely interesting is Robert Kiyosaki reveals the secrets of the wealthy. Robert Kiyosaki really breaks down financial opportunities that tons of people just miss out on every day. His message is to like let everybody know that they are capable of earning like four types of income sources that are gonna generate them in you know, a six figure business. And you don't have to be a genius and you don't have to be well off to begin with. All it takes is just financial education. And by building your financial education, you're able to realize these financial opportunities, thus giving you just more freedom in life. I think that we all heard that money is in everything and that's very true, but it would also be a very neglectful of yourself if you had a false sense of what money actually represented and how it could benefit you and not be your downfall. Also, how you could use that money to help a whole lot of people along the way. Okay, so I did not do this on purpose, but for number eight, we have the mindset of a winner by Kobe Bryant, a champion's advice. I get chills listening to this. I used to have the Kobe poster in my room and I would have like this little hoop right next to it and I'll just be doing dunks all the time. Although I'm like an awesome dunker now. He preaches a very simple rule, and that is be the hardest worker in any room that you go into. And of course, have the constant quest to be the best version of yourself, aka the Mamba mentality, baby! And I feel like his message should really live on through all of us, so that we can honor what he gave the world. Not only a great basketball career, but a hell of a mindset. Okay, numero nueve is another great one, and this is The Seven Regrets in My 20s by Dr. Kevin Jubal. If you guys don't know who Dr. Kevin Jubal is, like, this guy is crazy. Like, he dropped out of plastic surgery residency, which is, in fact, like, one of the hardest residencies to even get into, and he did all of that to pursue his goal in entrepreneurship in medicine. He's ultimately building a new concept of what a doctor could really be, especially in this technology-driven society. If you're interested in medicine and healthcare, definitely check him out. He has a whole lot of great advice. This video is amazing because he really gives like everything that he's learned within his 20s and you know He doesn't hold back. He's very transparent of with his content He says what he feels like he did right and he says what he feels like he could have you know Improved on or wish he did differently and that is huge considering that this guy is 10 years ahead of where I want to be This guy is breaking the mold of what medicine can be and you guys should definitely check him out All right, I think we need a drum roll for this last one just kidding, don't do a drum roll. All right, for number 10, we have Love Yours by J. Cole, the official video. All right, so I've still yet to see J. Cole in concert, which is like bucket list type stuff right here. But honestly, this song means a lot to me. I honestly think it's probably my favorite song ever made. And the message is just something so clear and yet something that I think all of us fall short of sometimes of remembering. And that is, ain't no life better than yours. It may sound like a lie because it's, it seems like we're always obsessed with what somebody else has going on in their life. We totally forget about like the blessings and opportunities that we have on a daily basis. So many times we get caught up in our goals, problems, and ambitions. And we forget that everything that we could ever want is already yours, such as family, friends, mentors, and yourself. Learn to love yours, and you're gonna be a whole lot happier. Anyways, I hope that you guys found value in this video, and if you guys did, can you guys do me a huge favor and hit that like button and please subscribe. And also, I'm putting all the links to the videos in the description box below. Let me know what you guys think about these videos, and uh, yeah, hopefully you guys find them interesting, and I'll see you guys in the next one, alright? Thank you guys for watching, and peace.